In Yorkshire, in 1855, John Foster, once a French horn player of the Queen's Head Brass and Reed Band, and by now director of John Foster and Son, cloth mill owners, re-established a local brass band by purchasing a new set of instruments, providing a band room for its 18 players, and renaming it the Black Dyke Mills Band, after the dark waters of the stream which supplied his factory. The history of its conductors includes Harry and Alex Mortimer, Major George Wilcox, Geoffrey Brand, Dr. Roy Newsom, Major Peter Parks, Professor David King, James Watson, and currently Dr. Nicholas Childs, whose collective patterns have directed the band's preeminent reputation with an unequaled 11 European, 29 British Open, and 20 national championship titles. Worldwide for its supporters and members alike, the word immortal sums up their aspirations for a band whose Latin motto, gestum, perficito, nihil, timito, translates to act justly and fear nothing. Actions exemplified by the current players. The following piece, Immortal, written by our composer in association, Paul Levitt Cooper, is performed a cinematic film, which features footage and photographs taken in many of the major concert halls around the world. In addition, you will also see the band behind the scenes, offering you an insight into the band's camaraderie and dedication. The piece culminates in a typical Lovett Cooper signature finale. As you enter the Black Dyke Band Room, amongst the many historical artefacts is the following short poem. Where rafters breathe with music, where spirits of the past live on, tradition stirs the heart, and pride is to belong. This is Black Dyke. Ladies and gentlemen, immortal. <laughs> 